And welcome back to another fantastic upload. In today's tutorial, we are making the Galaxy News Network statue found in Fallout 3. Yes, the statue is found right outside the Galaxy News Radio building, where you fight off that absolutely ginormous Super Mutant. Um, it's a very special part of the Fallout series because the logo for the statue is actually the logo for Interplay, the company that made the first Fallout 1 and 2, uh, by my knowledge. So there we go. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay folks, so the size of this building is around 11 blocks by 11 blocks, just if you want to put this in a city plaza or anything like that. So for the overall block palette, you will need stone, stone stairs, stone brick walls, polished and site slabs, gravel, clay blocks, iron bars, smooth stone slabs, wax weathered cut copper slabs, wax weathered cut copper stairs, wax weathered cut copper, waxed weathered copper, waxed exposed cut copper slabs, and red never brick slabs. So there you go, those are the blocks you will need for this build. For those who are in survival, if you can't get the waxing that you need for the copper, that is completely fine. Uh, one thing that I have advised or thought about is you could actually make the statue itself, wait until you've got the waxing, and just apply it to the copper after you've done. So there we go. I think without further ado, let's get on with our time lapse.
and we are done from that amazing, fantastic time lapse. Now, before I show you anything, anything at all, I just want to say, if you do like what I do, please like this video and subscribe to my channel because, of course, it helps spread my content to amazing, just fantastic people. Okay, so let's see what we have built here. So I've made two versions to show you folks, uh, just to give you a, a wide breadth of what you can make with these kind of things. So the one on the left is the one that we've built. Obviously, you've got the, uh, the kind of slightly rusted quality of the statue itself. And then on the right is how it would have looked when it was just constructed. Because the thing about statues, whether it's post-apocalypse or just present day, uh, pre-war, a lot of these statues, they degrade over time. Um, one example would be the Statue of Liberty, um, I believe was a nice bronze colour, but now it is, well, like the uh, statue you see on the left. Um, and I kind of wanted to replicate that because, of course, these statues were in the world, um, they weren't just made just before um, the apocalypse. So I just wanted to kind of express that uh, styling uh, through these buildings here. So overall, I think this has worked really well. Um, I always like making these kind of statues, uh, monuments, so to speak. Um, it's always great fun kind of shaping them out, um, especially for this kind of retro styling. Um, I, I always do enjoy building these. Um, one thing you can actually do if we get some uh, some water pockets, so we go down here, meow, is that you can turn this statue into a fountain. Now, I don't know if this monument or statue actually did have a fountain, um, but the way it's shaped kind of implies it, because it always has this kind of circular shape where the water comes out. But of course, this isn't an optional choice. I'm not expecting you to do anything with it, but at least have fun. That's the one thing I want you to do <laughs> overall. So there we go. So that has been our episode for today, the tutorial for the GNN monument. I want to say Thank you for watching this tutorial. It means the world to me having you watch my stuff. So thank you, thank you, thank you. My name has been Dr. Wasabi. I wish you a most pleasant good evening. And of course, as always, God bless. And now, folks, it is time to say good night. We sincerely appreciate your viewing and hope we've succeeded in providing you with an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Stay happy and come back again soon. Good night.